I'm Ellis Hayes, this one. Welcome to Soul. James Baldwin. Earth, Wind & Fire. Stevie Wonder, Nicky Giovanni. Harry Belafonte. Al Green. Yo, this is every day. Can you imagine what Soul would have been like for a 20-year run? Los Angeles, Detroit, Newark, cities across the country were erupting. There were so few positive African-American images on television. We needed to reimagine ourselves on this American landscape. Got any ideas, fellas? Live and in color from New York City, Soul. I'm Ellis Hayes, the producer of Soul, and we are happy to have you with us this evening. Ellis was a gardener, and he cultivated all of these people. Black voices speaking to the problems of our time. Ellis said, if we're going to do something for the black community, it's got to be a lot deeper, jazzier, even more controversial. It's about time I hear something besides blondes have more fun. <laughs> Ellis already knew that black culture led, didn't pull. Baby. Be still, peace, be still. was revolutionary. The conversations he had between writers and poets. Of course you can lie to me. Treat me the same way you would treat him. I can't treat you. You must. You grin at him all day long. You come home and I catch hell because I love you. I get least of you. Fake it with me. I asked him, why are you having Rasan Roland Kirk on? He said, because he's crazy. That program was so beyond its time that it was in time. Soul was giving TV exposure to activist revolutionaries. They want me to go to Vietnam to shoot some black folks that never lynched me, never called me nigga. You're so much more than Blacks all around the country say, yes. Stay high, sucker chump. You could do anything you wanted. The FBI was very, very disturbed by that. I said, Ellis, this is a piece of history. Let's fight for it. There exists, as far as I know, no TV program that deals with my culture so completely, so freely, and so beautifully. There is nothing, nothing we cannot do. Black seeds keep on growing. There's nothing but evolution in my soul.